All right, for a little context, I was in a Discord call with some friends, and I was smoking a little bit of weed. I normally don't do this, but I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to have some fun. It made our call goofier. So we got off. I was like, I need to record amnesia. So I'm I'm like constantly I'm slurring my words, I'm swearing, I'm like constantly swearing, and I'm repeating myself way too much. So I'm sorry if this is really annoying. But maybe it makes it more entertaining. Enjoy the video. Well, I'm back. Recording part two. Not part two. Part five. Sorry. Uh, to preface this, I was in a Discord call with some friends. And I may have gotten a little high. So, I, I'm a little high while recording this. I could have waited until tomorrow when I'm like, you know, more clear more clear-headed, but fuck it. I am a little high, so if I, if I'm like, slurring my words or some shit, that's why. Oh, and weed. I don't know. Let's just go. Yeah, 40 minutes in, we're just at So it is currently almost midnight when I'm recording this, and I have to do a 40-minute session. So. I gotta get this shit over with, then. Um. So, during my stream, uh, where I was trying to speedrun, uh, fucking spooky swamp, my pipe... One of the pipes in my bathroom. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of the French. Whatever, I'll read it later. But I am a little high, so please forgive me. I... I really should have just gone to bed. Third of July, May second. Yes, thank you. I know I'm not reading the. Looks like I know, letting him read. What? Okay, for some reason it won't let me close that. But um, I apologize. I I really should have just went to bed. I have a crowbar. Nice. The key. Please let it be here. Fourth of July. Revelation three. I'll let him read it later. Okay, my reaction time hasn't failed. I think this is a real bad idea when I'm high. I'm not like fucking stoned out of my mind, but I, I, I enough to where I'm a little goofy. 
when I'm acting a little goofy. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm safe. Okay, real quick, I gotta I'm gonna check my fucking check the There's a fuck is it? Walk through. Walk through. That's what it is. Okay, so there's a wall in here. I don't trust myself right now. Uh, that. Okay, so I accidentally already triggered that. Whoops. Oh. Whoops. Um. What was it? What was I gonna fucking say? I I really don't fucking know. My leg has been fucking killing me today though. Okay, so I have to go into the studies. There's one of the more shorter areas. How long is this? Welcome to the study. I really... I really think this is going to be a bad idea, but we're going to see how funny it is. So, this is going to be the... I'm high out of... I'm high special. Okay. Upon go into the first room on the left. Grandma. I think I'm in the wrong fucking room. No, I'm not. My most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer, I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed well, rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility. An artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the antiqui antiquated. That fucking antiquated. Antiquated, not antiquity. Fucking English, man. I, I can't fucking speak. When I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these en enigmatic artifacts. They were real. 
as you can understand, this is my the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greater, great, greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. This beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in, a, in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky water, I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I carried, I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lie awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into mythic, the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. That name again. What the fuck was that? That... That actually kind of concerned me. Who the fuck was that? What? Fuck, man. Game, don't don't fuck with my head. I don't have like the pos the amount of brain power to process this right now. I know I could easily just stop this recording, but no. I'm not going to. If no one likes this episode. Yeah. Fucking piece of shit. If this episode turns out to be the worst I've ever recorded. Well. I have only one word. Fuck. Wait, no. It was supposed to be too. I'm fucking up everything. What do I do? Grab all this shit and then go. Yay. I can go in here. Can I? Oh, well, shit. This is a bad game to play when I'm high. I'm not fucking scared out of my mind, though. Let's see what you have to offer. I don't trust that. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. All stones of human there. anatomy. Understanding balance. The canine jaw. What is this? More canine jaws. What is this? Understanding locomotion. This is a hammer. The chambers of the human skull. Grab the... What? Oh, I didn't even fucking notice that. Canis lupus familiaris. 
A lot of fucking isses. 1658 is. April 12th. That's my sister's birthday. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult, difficult to determine exactly where and what it is. I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to reduce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments the experience of terror. Right. Whoa, there's no fucking table. Oh, it means in this fucking room. Whoops. I need to look for shit. It's in the box. Uh, I wanted. For fuck's sake. Why did that get me so bad? Jesus. Further disappointment, the antiquarian's latest findings yield nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect that it will be in vain, since no research has been made in my particular interest. I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Oh. Fuck you. Back of shit. What? Backtrack the windows again. What? Is it telling me I have to go? As you're near the windows. Oh my god, there's oil right there. Why did Come on, give it. Now what? Simply grab an object. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Then jump out the window onto the ledge. Turn to the right. What? Oh no. Oh fuck. Okay, I don't like this. Shut up, fuck face. There's a window. It's busted open. There's says. Oh god. Give me. Got the memory capsule. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My my patience spans centuries. From where I can, kind is not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you. I have gained nothing in return, Agrippa. I trusted you. 
It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. On the desk nearby, grab the elevator machine instru instruction. Oh, you wanna? Fuck that. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read 8, up 8, down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions. 4 phase amplitude. Complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. I don't like this. Oh well. Then what? Okay. So now it's time to bolt. Yay. And do my the easiest thing I've done in this. I don't fucking like this, man. Go. Leave. So run. Run, 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 run. Nice, I've completed so much. How much... Longer do I have? Twenty minutes. Oh, that's fucking pleasant. Go away. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Do not tell me. Do not tell me this. Oh, God. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. Oh, boy. Why is the fucking key? I'll go in there in a minute. I'm actually gonna let, uh, fucking Daniel read his thing. Read these revelation notes. Oh, I guess he won't read it now. Okay. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter from the... Fuck off. I received a letter today from the Algerian government governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of my of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party for the ex to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the, the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, I'm, but I'm worried for him. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. 
The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continue reading the peculiar text. Herbert states facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks. Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tarp which I had prepared to fix the pieces together. And without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. I read this one if I haven't I'll read it now 22nd of June 1839 it's been more than a month since my last entry after the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria professor Herbert insisted I return to England he said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worst an excessive decision in retrospect, but I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things I brought home from Africa. Next to it lay bro the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have, could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? That guy, I've read all that shit. Um, so it looks like. boy okay so I just have uh, I don't know what else I have to do after the machine so I have I think three more areas Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Oh. 
I don't like it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. All right, that's good to know, Daniel, that you're a fucking, that you've been a little fucking snitch, stupid shithead. I am, fuck, I'm swearing so much, Jesus. Maybe just getting high makes me swear. Oh no, I'm still a foul mouthed bastard without, without fucking weed. And live resin, whatever the fuck it is. Okay, I don't have anything wrong with me. In the game, not, not in real life. I don't like those sounds. I don't like those sounds, lads. <clears throat> What are these sounds? These sounds are not pleasant. Okay. On top of a crate. There was a turn. You got all those. Okay. Let me guess. Does this do anything? Down. Down. Up. Up, up, down. I don't trust it. Make the new bar stairs again. Okay. What a god of this game like those jump scares at me again. I'm gonna have it like fucking murdered. These stairs, it is this one, right? There's a note. Two notes. In the box, in the box. Okay. Note that the elevator, that there are only two spare rods left in storage for elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. And there's another note over here that I'm going to... of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. 
from a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know, I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. After that. The lay of the room is fucking gear. You fucking got it, boys. Let's go, you fucking air. Next to the top step. Oh, I'm gonna need both of you. Come here. Yeah, but up. Nice. And take these gears to the nearby room at the bottom of the stairs. In there. I can light some fucking tinder boxes for now. Now, oh, there should be a fucking no. Yes. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. All right, so, um, grab all of these fucking things. Come here, you fucking piece of shit. Now, oh, where's that other one? There we go. So. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice game. Don't make me do all the work. All right, this one is the smallest one. There. Damn you. What do I need in here? I'm gonna go over to the coal balls, throw three coal balls into the other room. Boink. Boink. I'm almost out of time and by the time this is going up, this is probably like Thursday or Friday when this is going up. Get in there. Get the fuck in there. Burner is now full of coal. Play some. Nice. Okay, I'm done here. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think now. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet. He reached the broken glass door. Oh shit! Oh, fuck's sake! All right. Um. I'm not too sure if I want to start it now. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Alright. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. The dark towers of Brennenburg rose above the forest and were silhouetted against the snow-white moon. He couldn't help feeling sad for some reason. Oh, I got an achievement. Descendant. Did that do me any damage? All right, I've and yeah. come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Ugh. Okay, this is going to have to wait until the fucking next episode.
So, thank you all for watching. I'm sorry that I am a little high while recording this. Sorry. But maybe it makes it make more... Fuck, I can't English. Maybe it makes it more funny. I don't know. I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. See ya.